This is what it takes to keep a child safe and healthy in the Indonesian region of West Timor. As part of a community health service known as Posiandu, this team of medics goes door to door, checking the health of local children and vaccinating them. We give them vaccinations for tuberculosis, polio and measles. We need to boost their immune systems and keep them safe. I was worried that my child wouldn't get vaccinated. I'm grateful that they came to take care of us. These medics administer more than 80% of all vaccinations across the country for free. And while the children of this rural village were able to get their vaccinations, thousands more in other provinces are missing out. In West Java, this mother is anxiously weighing up the risk. My son is nine months old. He should have gotten his measles vaccination last month, but he hasn't had it yet. I'm afraid of taking him to the health clinic. The Posiandu in her community were advised by the local government to temporarily stop working three months ago as part of COVID-19 restrictions. Parents in urban areas are instead encouraged to go to health clinics. But some health workers say it's not that straightforward. I'm worried that children will miss out on compulsory immunizations because their parents do not have the money to go to a private health clinic. More than 80% of inoculation programs in Indonesia have been disrupted by COVID-19 and the government says it's trying to get them back on track. The health ministry is advising provinces on how to resume vaccinating safely during the pandemic. We still need more to educate and mobilize community on the importance of vaccination during COVID-19. International public health groups say there are safe ways to resume vaccination programs in Indonesia and around the world by making sure that medics have adequate personal protective equipment. Indonesia and other countries have seen a steep decline in, in under five child mortality. So uh, this, was re this is really to ensure while, while, we, while we address the COVID-19 pandemic that we also make sure that these essential services continue. Without these inoculation programs, the fear is that the next mass outbreak could be one of an entirely preventable disease. Jessica Washington, Al Jazeera, Jakarta.